Hello guys, I'm back again with another tutorial and I hope yesterday's tutorial which was about how to change the character attack, name, health, and defense really benefited you guys especially for you know changing cheap characters and extremely too powerful character stats or weak characters and making them pretty strong. I hope it really helps you guys. Well, today this tutorial is more so for the new people who entered the Mujin community and stuff. And I'm going to show you how to add characters into your Mujin pack, into your Mujin roster. A lot of new people, you know, send me messages on how to add characters because they don't know how to do it. So, this is more so for you guys out there who don't know how to install characters. So, let's begin, shall we? Well, here it is. When you first install your Mujin game or software, you will enter the folder. And you will see characters, data, docs, sound, plugins, font, stages, and tools. Well, before we begin, I'm going to show you the default characters that already comes with your Mujin software. So, let's begin. Okay, here we go. Let's begin. Go to arcade mode, and as you see on your character roster, you start off with three kung fu men. Yeah, pretty basic, huh? So this is how we're gonna install characters. Cause I know pretty much that a lot of you guys don't really like to use kung fu men and want to use the real cool characters. So let's begin. So let's exit out. Well, first, before we begin, I would have to unzip or extract my character first, which is right here, Venom. Going to extract them right here. Now, once you extract them, the folder will open up. Well, sometimes the folder opens up depending on how you uh, extract it. But you notice inside the Venom folder, there's another folder called Venom. And this this may cause a problem. Because if you have a character folder which has another character folder, and when you try to install them in your roster, they will not appear on the game because it's directing that folder into another character folder. So what you do is, you click on this folder, and what you do next is take all these files right here and you hi highlight all of them. You copy them and then you exit back outside the folder and you paste all the files inside of here. And you get rid of the Venom folder that was here. So now you have a Venom folder that has all of the files that's within it. Instead of having a Venom folder that has another Venom folder which has the files inside. You don't want that because the character won't appear on your roster once you install them. So now let's exit out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our character, which is Venom, and place him inside the no limit when Mujin patch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take him and drag him inside and then click on the folder. Now what you do next is take your character which for example I have right here it's Venom and you place him into the characters folder which is C-H-A-R-S for short short for character. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm take Venom and I am going to put them inside the character folder. Then I'm going to click on it. So, for now, we're not going to do anything to Venom because there's something else that we have to work with in order to get him inside the character roster. So, here we go. We're going to exit. So, next, what we must do is, in order to get our character inside, our Mujin, we must go to 
the data folder and I'm gonna explain why once we get inside so you click on the data folder okay so now we're inside the data folder and now you have all these special folders just inside so mainly what we want to focus on you have the you have the system death file which is the system of the Mugen engine that you have but we're not going to focus on that right now you want to be able to have your character which you in, in, um, downloaded you want to have your character be able to be selectable and playable within the game since since Placing the character inside of the roster requires selecting them and stuff. You have to go to the select death file, select.def. Go to the select.def and click on it. Well, well, look what we have here. We open select.death file and look what we have. Instructions on how to add characters. Isn't that something? Yep. Well, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down right here. And in this section, it says insert characters below. Now, this is basically simple. KFM is Kung Fu Man, which came with your game. The three Kung Fu Men that you saw on your roster. What you do is you insert your characters below, which they already had the three default characters. And what you do is you take their name from the folder and you place the name of the folder into this area below now in another tutorial we're going to explain how to insert stages so don't worry about this just ignore that so for right now matter of fact let me get rid of it so it won't confuse you So for right now, we are going to just focus on the characters right now. We don't really need three Kung Fu men, just need the one. Okay? So, what we're going to do is, we're going to put Venom in. So what we're going to do, right now, we're going to minimize this, this screen for now. So, next, what we want to do is, we're going to have to take Venom, take his name, from this folder right here, copy his name, and then we're gonna bring up select death file, right? That we that we had minimized. So this we're gonna do. Now we take Venom name, 